Looks like it's going to be one of those days where I'm going to be alone making an episode. <laughs> oh, really, Nick? <laughs> what the hell? Why is it the... Oh, god damn it. There. What is wrong with this thing? Why isn't it responding? Is this thing not fully plugged in or something? What the hell? <sighs> no, it's excuse me, I'm having some technical issues. Lovely. That's the first thing that happens when it comes back. Why the hell is this cable fucking wrapped around? to restart this emulator. Well, that's quite a way to start this, isn't it? Lovely. All right, let's test it again. Okay, what is up with the little flicker right there? What what the shit is this? Okay, it's working fine now, but is it just not allowing me access to the stage? What the? I don't get it. Oh, Nick, don't fucking start that shit. Come on, man. Lord, I don't know. I would guess so. Uh, I don't know what the fuck happened, and I just fell right into that spike pit. Great job. Okay, I was able to select that stage without a problem. I know that it, like that one block is going to unlock that jack in the box, so I don't need any of that shit. Ah, uh, gotta love it when some stages require you to be patient. Wait, is that really the key? Oh, hang on. I think Bert just refreshing my memory. <laughs> I gotta check. Because after this, there should be like one more like zone to take care of. Okay, well, I guess that's that. Thank you for uh, reminding me, D. Birch. That's quite embarrassing of me to forget. Alright. Eat me! Like a Slim Jim! Oh god. Prana plant. Not prana plant. Fish prawn. I don't fucking know. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, Nightfall, come on. How could you hate dresses? Some fish are, like, some fish designs in this game are fucking weird. I swear. It's like one eyeball, but with two pupils. It's fucking weird. Or are those, like, a fucking pair of goggles? I don't know. And there's those things. The, one, the puffer fish that have spikes. They're sharks. I did not touch him. That's bullshit. Come on. Is... Are you... F Is the hit detection really that sensitive now? When the fuck was that a thing? I don't know. Maybe it was just there all along and I didn't touch him. I mean, this stage, like, we got a lot of narrow spaces. Oh, fuck. Spiky pufferfish right there. All right. Drop just a little. Okay. 
Ugh, and I gotta deal with this fucker. I had to deal with another shark as is. God damn it! Come on! I was not even that close! Equestria guy, this was one of the earlier games that were out on the Game Boy, and it only came out into a green scale, or a booger scale. That's what some people call them. Uh, Logic, is that the one with the, uh, the giant birthday cake, or is it something else? I'm trying to, rem um, remember what fan art I got. Alright, let's see, over here, and... Wait for this fucker to fly by. Gotta wait for that fucker to swim by. That is the easiest way to get a fucking bonus stage. Oh, I got more lives. Nice. Ugh. You know, see Link. Okay. Uh, okay. Now I remember. Here we go inside this fucking submarine. Who goes inside a sunken submarine? Mario, are you that fucking crazy? You know, you could have just skipped over this and just go taking care of the fucking boss. Whoever the hell he is. I haven't played this game in a while. Well, at least I haven't remembered all the bosses. I know that uh, I've dealt with the three pigs. That, that fucking vulture. Come on, you bastard. Turn around. There we go. All right, so let's check what's over here. It's got nothing here. Let's see what's over here. Oh, Jesus. Living spikes like to fucking penetrate you and impale your ass. I had to slowly walk by this fucking spike block. I did not touch him. That was horse shit. Um, uh, Jesse, to answer your question about uh, the t uh, convention in Texas, again, it all narrows down to my finances. There's only so many conventions I can attend to. And even if that were the case, my job restrains me. I can only have like one week of vacation a year. Which sucks. It'd be nice if I were to get more, but if I start requesting them, um, I don't want to take the chances of jeopardizing my rent. Antonio McKee invented the telephone, but Alex Bell stole the credit for the invention. You know, I think the remakes of Mario Lands 1 and 2 would be nice, now that I think about it. But then again, there's like Super Mario 3D Land, and there's so many different iterations of Super Mario Brothers that I I'm going to be upfront about the recent titles of the Mario platformers. I don't think that calling it new Super Mario Brothers was a good idea because it was so easy to tell that over the next couple of years, that title was going to be dated. Now they call it newer. What next? Are they going to call it newest? Because that's really going to be dated. Kaboom! You know, the funny thing is, is that by the time you joined the call, I heard a little static. Yeah, I figured. I need to be quicker <laughs> next time. <laughs> it's most and yes, I saw that question about the whole Texas, Texas convention. Texas yeah, that's going to happen next year, 2019. I think it's in February. In fact, I already just filled out a, a community guest application for it. Yeah. Ironically, it's being held in the same location that Nightmare Nights used to be held what at. What the dick? How am I supposed to get past that? Use the force. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny, you know, Mario just has the force and she's, he just goes like, uh, No, you are not going to touch me. And he's saying that while he's underwater. And all the bubbles are coming out of his mouth. He's <laughs> like, what was that? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> you know, it's weird that in, like, okay, so comparing this to, like, the 3D Mario games, like, in platformers, Mario can swim through without having to worry about, you know, his air supply. But in the recent <laughs> Mario games, or the 3D platformers, um... 
do you have a uh, you have an air meter? Like, ah. what the fuck logic is that? I know it's, it's, it's I know it's, it's weird that I'm applying logic on a fucking video game, you know, where you have a New York plumber. But Mario never had that. The original Mario games never had that. Stick to the classics. You know, there's something about, you know, something about... Okay, so comparing old games to new games, there is something that even old games have suffered from. And I'm kind of taking a leap here. You know, applying some games with, you know, a logic with them, which... To an extent, they want to try to make the games more supposedly realistic. Okay, so this is taking me to a bonus stage. All right. Um, hmm. But no, um, mo like some games nowadays, like there were some that I played that were very frustrating, but they said, oh, but that's because it's meant to be more realistic. Bitch, I'm not trying to go for something realistic. I just want to enjoy a fucking game. And that's the same thing that can be said for a few other platformers that had this issue. Uh, case in point, yeah. Mm -hmm. Case in point, um, what is that game called? Echo the Dolphin. Echo the Dolphin has... Did it play it? Um, it's, it's kind of a controversial game, um, but it has an air meter, and you have to be, like, you have to air yourself to the surface. Like, every, like, couple of times. And most of the stages, you have to go way underwater. Which... I don't want to say it's bad game design, but they really could have put more effort on the level designs to, you know, make things more convenient. Well, what game was this? Was this a PS1 or a 2? It was out on the Sega Genesis. Ah. Well, yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, we're talking about an okay. old-ass game where you have to surface yourself to fucking breathe. Because it's realistic, and there's, you know, there's some things that... Uh, dolphins have. They have to, you know, breathe the air or some shit like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey. Oh, one second. Hey, Jess. Uh, yeah, if you want to join me in it, it all depends on what they'll offer me as a community guest. I kind of ask them, could I get a free room or a free table? If not, it's fine. Uh, I need to see what they might offer, though. Uh, if I don't get a free room, then yeah, sure. We can, we can, we can hook up. Yeah, by the way, yeah, Jess Barr, uh, 06, uh, I met her and her sweet little daughter at Nightmare Nights last year. My my nephew befriended her daughter, and they kind of just hung out with us the whole time. It was cute. <laughs> What's over she here? loves Twink. Everybody, she loves every, Bliss, dude, everybody loves Twink. <laughs> Everyone loves Twink. Nom nom. Shut up, yeah. You always steal the show. It was also released in the Sega City with an enhanced soundtrack. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, Birch and I, like... Oh my god, like, the soundtrack between the Sega CD and the Genesis is, like, night and day. Mm, and by I, I never played the Sega, so... No, that's that's understandable. Um, it really all varies in its competitive nature. Like, mm. um, <clears throat> there, it's either you know what the Genesis is, or you don't. It, it's kind of around that realm, but whenever they do... Like, they say, I knew what it was, but I don't even remember we ever actually physically had... The console. I know we had a portable version of the Se of Sega. Well, yeah, no, uh, I think you're referring to the Sega Game Gear. I, it was, hmm, I don't know what version it was. It was big, bulky, and black, and the screen was small, green and black. Were the yeah. buttons like one and two? Yes. Yeah, that's the Game Gear. Okay, when well, my brothers had it, and we would just take it on car trips and when they would get bored of it I would play with it and all they had was the Sonic game and I did not understand the appeal of Sonic you just gotta go fast and that's it oh yeah no like I had that kind of impression too and like like mind you I like the old Sonic games but it's they're also very very flawed a lot of people say you know people like the old Sonic compared to the new ones the, the whole thing the whole franchise was flawed but um like, most of the game, you think, you know, you think speed and running fast and everything. But you also have obstacles where you have to take your time and look carefully at where you're going. So, that kind of defeats the purpose of trying to go fast. Like, it would have been cool if they made some kind of, like, racing platformer. You know, if they tweaker, uh, tinkered around with it for a bit. I just didn't like the appeal. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was the flashiness, the fact that things were going so fast around me. I quickly grew irritated and bored. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, I could probably choke that up to being ADD, but yeah. Um, 
Whereas games like for the PS1, like the first Spyro trilogies, that hooked me up so hard because I, the, the satisfaction of collecting items and getting all the items while following a story and playing a cute purple dragon, that, that was my stick. You know what also didn't help the Game Gear? What? You had to equip six double A's. Yeah, I remember that with the flop. It was so heavy, too. Like, after a while, your hand starts to cramp up. So much and my eyes hurt. Hands. Yeah, my eyes would hurt too. So. You know, it, it's times <laughs> like these that you know when you put things in perspective. Uh, when it came to the handheld market, um, obviously the, uh, the Game Gear was the Game Boy's competitor. But you look at those other handhelds. Well, the Game Boy that is, and it did not have a. Um, the screen wasn't lit, and that's because uh, Nintendo always liked going for something you know cheap in its product, so that way they can sell well still, and think careful in their marketing strategy. Whereas uh, consoles like the Game Gear or the uh, the Atari Lynx, I think it's called, and a few mm -hmm. other uh, handhelds, their screens were lit, but they drain your battery so fast. Yeah, well, that's how they make money. That's how they rip off the customer. They you they make these products so they won't last as long you end up having to spend more to keep them going that's just how it works uh yeah yeah whereas nintendo they didn't really think about that and decided to focus more on the quality of the games and I, i'm like to an extent i don't want to say shit about the game gear or the atari Lynx. i'm not you know in the right to say that because i've never tried them um it's just common sense with the economy and business like i found out through mysteries at the museum that there was, in fact, a company that invented a light bulb that lasted for years. I kid you not, years. Huh. And they were like, great, this is the most successful product we ever made. People are going to buy these at the wazoo. And guess what happened? They started to wear out. Uh, no, 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 no. People would buy them and then they would stop buying them for years because the light bulb they were selling was just that good. Oh, yeah, no, that's yeah. a huge backfire. You know, th okay, I will have to take things into perspective that it does sound evil that you would have to, sh like, you would purposely shorten the lifespan so that people would repurchase more. But yeah. it's also, a f like, difficult on your business. Like, it it's really just one of those things where, like, whatever it is that you make, I if for the first time you invent something that is so helpful that when you purchase it, the durability can be so like okay this reminds me of an episode of hey arnold where um what's his name he was selling watches and one day he was being so successful at selling watches to everybody that the next day he couldn't sell anymore yeah you know it, it's kind of like that also i dropped a link in the the group chat for you because jesse wanted me to show you her latest oh, okay. plushie <laughs> that she's making of me Shit. Shit. What the dick? I can't kill those? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm almost done with them. There we go. Alright, let's take a look. Is it well done? Oh, hi, Dever. Hello. Hello. What the hell was, was that it? an octopus or a squid? Because I'm in the mode for calamari. It's a squid word. Well, he was quite a, uh, a grumpy one. Anyway... And it looks like I'm already approaching the final boss. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Atelier, after I'm done with uh, Super Mario Land, I'm going to go back to doing um, A Link to the Past. <laughs> All right. Hopefully this should be easy. I mean, technically this game is easier than the first. Get that moon level still one of my nightmares, childhood nightmares. The one with all the angry stars. Yeah. Yeah. And just how, how you have to like float around every and dodge everything. <laughs> it's like space is mad at you and they want you dead. Whoa! Oh. Damn it. Ooh, weird. 
I was persistent enough in my childhood to 101% Donkey Kong 64, yet I couldn't muster up the patience to finish this game. I had no. I remember. I had no loving patience. Donkey. Donkey Kong. Yeah, 64. I remember loving Donkey Kong 64. I had fun watching Golden play it. There was a sequel to it, wasn't it? Where there was a girl. That's Diddy? Donkey Kong Country. I yeah. love that one though. It yeah. wasn't yeah. a sequel to Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, no. Uh, Donkey Kong. Yeah, no, uh, yeah uh, like everybody has heard about. Well, shit. Crap, how am I going to get past that? And, nope. Ow! Oh, come on, come on, go fast. Fuck! <laughs> That's the one thing I got to remember about that section. I used to, like, play through this uh, stage, like, almost all the time after collecting all the six coins. Oh, it's still hot in this damn room. I hope this AC is working, because it doesn't feel like it. Brrr. Well, hey, at I'm least it's not August. I'm melting. Yeah, no, at least it's not August. Give it time. It feels like August. <laughs> it already felt like August in May here. I could just imagine you saying, uh, saying it like Pinkie Pie. Give it time. <laughs> no, seriously. What is the temperature for y'all right now, Brett? I don't know. Um... I'll just get on my phone and look it up for you, because weather bugs fun like that. Okay, there's me. There's Los Angeles. Okay. Oh, fuck you guys! What? Y'all got nothing on Texas! You guys are at, like, 79. Big freaking whoop de doo We're at 95! <laughs> freaking babies can't handle the heat. However, though, I am I am rather concerned about y'all at the moment. And what's that? I'm hearing... It's 28C here, and the sun's not even out. I'm hearing about a lot of wildfires again in California. Son of a California's bitch! California's already always on fire. Yeah, no, well, that's... Yeah, that's... Well, that's the okay. scary the scary yeah. thing, though, is that they're saying it is, uh... It's looking... The, the situation is looking up to Hi, being... Solar. Uh, was that solar? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> quite, that's quite a way I'm to make an to be entrance. Serious, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, they're saying that the wildfire situation in California is looking like it's on track to what y'all experienced back in 2012. Which was well, record breaking. I, well, here's one, I've only been in California for a year. Two, I don't care about California. It can burn for all I care. Uh, at excuse three, me, we have friends three, there. At three, jokes aside, I am worried about the people, though. Who are Thank there. you, I was about to say. That means, there was that about means, to blood. I just, I just want that to say, means. in response to Dever about California, good on you, California is a shit state. It's a bankrupt state. Also, and, you're and echoing, Dever. I hear it too. Are yeah, you you're like echoing on your end. Do you have like you headphones your... in or something? I was gonna ask. Yeah, do you have headphones on? Actually, is there anything over here? Tom, if Tom, we had yeah. headphones, that probably there probably wouldn't be an echo. That, yeah, that's why I'm saying get a headset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop yeah. being cheap. Spend twenty dollars. You Fuck know him. what I need to get myself? I need to get myself some like cordless headphones. I, know I don't the, like those. The, they are a blessing. Yeah, no, they can be very useful for, like, let's say um, you still want to continue talking, but um, with the cords, you're not able to, like, go very far by comparison. I'm I can't tell you that. how many fucking times I've, like, I've gotten up from my chair and, like, the my, my headset cord gets tangled around my leg, so I end up just yanking it out. Well, that's why y'all tape it up on the desk so it stays out of the way like I do. It's not that big of a deal. You know, I, I you know, I've never thought of that. And I think <laughs> I'm going to do that. <laughs> I mean, it's not, I mean, it sounds tacky. It really oh, is shit. not. It's up and out of the way. I get why people would prefer wireless, though. The reason why I don't like wireless is because you Run. never know what's going to die on you. Go, Mario. Uh, oh, my God. The oh, my ones God. that I... The ones that I had, they lasted around a, a good eight to ten hours on a single charge, which is pretty nice. Just you know, as long as you make sure that you go and plug them in overnight, you're you're fine for pretty much the whole day. And then you know, if those 
do die, then you can always switch back to a wired set. So I rather just I rather just keep what I got because it works, and I don't mind the taping up hassle. Just tape how's it up this? and get Guys, how's this now? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't know. I cannot tell. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Am I not echoing anymore? Yep, you're still echoing. Yeah. Seems to happen when you're talking, and then we hear right, our here voices we go. behind Facing you. Wario. Hashtag Blissy. I'm playing on making a plushie for your husband of his OC Sub Zero, along with the fluffy Twink. Oh, you you make a plushie of Sub Zero, and I'm gonna, and and if you give there it to go. me, I will keep that with me, and I will take it to every con I go to, so I can snuggle my hubby when I'm away. That's gay. Shut up. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm, I'm sure somebody in the chat is going to say you should make Lightning Bliss a pharynx plushie while you're at it. <laughs> well, joke's on you. She already has a pharynx body pillow. Gotcha. Uh, it's a miniature one. It's a keychain. It's all my touch. Yes. <laughs> it's a miniature God one. Damn that it. doesn't change the fact that it's a body pillow. <laughs> it's still tiny. <laughs> Okay, let's I didn't twice. tell Doc about that yet. <laughs> that's like saying, oh, I'm not gay. It doesn't count if he's a midget. Like, what? It's just a smaller version of the same thing. It's still the same thing. I've not told Doc I got that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fireballs firing away. What? Fire. You didn't touch me. That's bullshit. Oh, right, my. One more hit. And it's a one on one. Who's it going to be? Gotcha. All right. Well, that's that. <laughs> I'm not making Blissey a fluffle puff. What? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, why is it so hot in here? Uh, it's it's because I'm here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> is this any better now? Yeah, uh, I, so. I don't know. <laughs> I love what Birch says. Who throws a shoe? Seriously. Uh, that one chick that was really mad at George Bush. Also Mexican moms. Ah, uh, crap. Hold on. Sorry, let's see. That one. I liked this thumbnail. Use that one. That's the one I want. So yeah, I was able to play through this one like nothing. Like I said before, when it comes to Super Mario Land 2, like, I can just play through that game like a breeze. I do not need a Sub-Zero body pillow. Oh, my God. Who the fuck said that? Heartless. Uh, so much NSFB in that fucking sentence. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I do not need that. No, so, no, no. She, she said it here first, folks. She would rather have uh, she would rather have a body pillow of Bill Newton than <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. How many, how many pharynx body pillows do you own? I. Okay, first off, you motherfucker. And father, how many sub zero ones do you have, own? I don't have any body pillows unless you count that tiny little keychain one that your girlfriend got for me for my birthday. I do not have body pillows of any kind. You lying son of a gun. I'm sorry, just because it's smaller doesn't mean that it's not what it is. Oh my freaking god! You suck, Solar! It's like, Go oh yeah, Scott, that's not what I'm That's, 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 not, that's, that's not, not an iPod, that's just an iPod Nano. It's the same shit, it's just Shut smaller. Up, solar! <laughs> no, that's, that's not a boy, that's solar, just a come midget. At me, bro! I will kick your ass! <laughs> Yeah, you gotta reach it first. <laughs> oh, okay, alright, alright. Okay, you wanna go. I will kaboom your ass with rainbows up the wazoo. They'll be going through your ass and out your mouth. Solar, Solar, I should point out, she does have a thing called a twink. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm here against it. typical bad Alicorn OC rage. <laughs> There's also that and the fact that I could very easily rearrange her spine. She knows this. In real life, yes. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> yeah, God, no, she, 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 thought, she, she wanted a hug. Yeah, she wanted a hug whenever I wanted a hug! I didn't want an I didn't want a blood squisher or a, no, no. I didn't want the high like maneuver! Yeah, no, she wanted a hug whenever we, we met up in our room at HRPC God and was like, alright. And I gave her this massive bear hug, like lifted her off the ground and shit. <laughs> I just I, I can feel with my all ribs. of my might. I can feel my ribs like pressing inward, stra straining not to break <laughs> under the pressure. It was like, pretty I, funny. I'm like that. That this was a mistake. This was a mistake. I I was expecting a big hug. Yes, not a. Oh my God! I'm gonna die. Hug. <laughs> to be fair, I gave it to everybody else when we met too. So you I know. know. I feel better now that you said <laughs> that. But still, don't ever do that again. That is. This has got to be the most hysterical way for me to end an episode. Um, yeah, uh, so thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, end your goddamn episode. Yeah. So who thank you. Thank you. Who would have thought I, who would have thought I would be the straight man for once? Um, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching Super Mario Land 2. Warg. Yeah.